Welcome to the Homecast Rewind, your guide to what's new and notable in PlayStation Home. I'm your host here at WoW. Reports have been coming in for several weeks of small creatures following avatars around, doing odd dances, and even dreaming in camera lengths. If you happen to see one, don't be alarmed, you've just come face to face with a home companion. Companions are a new feature introduced with the 1.4 update. These digital pets live under your inventory tab, along with your camera and bubble machine, and you can bring them out in any personal space and most public spaces. Companions will follow you wherever you go, and they all have preset behaviors that take over when you're not moving. Animal lovers can get Toby the Tabby or Chairman Meow from Loot for $1.99 or Steve the Monkey for $2.99. Sci-fi fans should check out the Novus Prime Mini Mech and Zai Stapler Companions, while zombie fans will love Benji the Bunny and Nipper the Cat. Remember that treehouse you had as a kid? Remember being angry at your parents because they wouldn't let you have a treehouse? Whether the memories are happy or sad, you can now pursue an arboreal life in the treehouse personal space available from Estates for $4.99. You won't find any games or free rewards in this space, but you will find a relaxing, fantasy-themed environment that outdoor enthusiasts and fans of role-playing games should love. There are two levels to decorate, and the design is intimate, so item limits shouldn't be a problem. Log Cabin and Waterfall Terrace Furniture looks excellent in this space, which offers spectacular views from every window. Be aware that the walkways are not part of the living area in this space, they're just part of the scenery. Tired of hanging around Hudson Gate waiting for your Dolphy to enter a race? In case you didn't know, you can leave the race disc between races, and Hudson has provided two new ways to pass the time until your Dolphy is picked. First up is the Hudson Theater, where you can see developer interviews and trailers for Hudson titles. Grab a drink from the Dolphy bartender at the back of the theater, and be sure to check in with the Dolphy on the first floor of the space. Ask this Dolphy about the fish rally, then start collecting superfish. Once you get to 50, you'll receive a new hat, just like the one on this Dolphy's head, for your own Dolphies to wear. After the theater, head over to the Bomberman Dome, where you can unlock some free rewards by playing Bomberman Survivor. This game is simple enough. Just collect the keys and avoid the explosions so that you don't lose a life. Get scores of 10, 40, 80, and 100,000 points, and you'll unlock Bomberman panel ornaments to add a splash of 8-bit style to your personal spaces and be recognized as a Bomberman master. Scoring all those points is easier than it looks. Point values for the keys increase with the number of players, so always look for a game with a lot of people playing. You won't get far in this game trying to play it on your own, as there isn't enough time to collect all the keys on higher levels. Point values are divided by the number of players who collect each key, so you can sometimes score points faster by going for out-of-the-way keys that other players can't reach. You'll also be doing everyone a favor, because all players lose a life if every key isn't picked up. Be sure to make a mental note of where to find safety from the bombs before each level begins, and throw on a Bomberman outfit to add an extra dash of classic gaming style while you play. If you're like me, you get so busy sometimes that you can't spend as much time at home as you'd like. This is a particular problem for Dolphy owners because that champion racer can get angry after a few days of neglect. They'll also get mad if you don't vote for them in a race that they win. So what do you do when your Dolphy's mood turns bitter? First, you need to know how bad the damage is. At the Dolphy Center, call a Dolphy, choose race, then choose a strategy. Your Dolphy's reaction to your strategy will tell you its mood. If it likes or really likes the strategy, it's happy and ready to race. If it's okay with your strategy or worse, it doesn't get your strategy or decides to ignore it, you have a very angry and unpredictable Dolphy on your hands. There's even a chance that it will ignore your strategy during the race or refuse to race at all. There are two ways to raise your Dolphy's mood. One is to play the ring game and get a score over 70. The other is to race it daily. Based on my own experiments and comments from other Dolphy enthusiasts, playing the ring game seems to be the fastest way to get that angry Dolphy back in racing shape. Play the ring game once a day until the Dolphy's mood improves, then make sure to race it or play the ring game with it at least once every other day. Hudson has provided plenty of reasons for racing, as you'll keep unlocking new trail effects for your Dolphys right up to 500 votes. If you haven't tried Dolphy racing yet, be sure to grab the Dolphy room from Hudson for just $3.99. You'll be able to raise and race up to three Dolphys of your own, win some trophies, and have a unique personal space with dolphins swimming overhead. That's all for now. Remember that you can keep up to date on the latest home news by visiting the PlayStation blog and the home forums at community.us.playstation.com. And look for a new Homecast Audio Edition every Saturday afternoon at Gamer-Indepth.com. Until next time, this is Here at WoW. See you in PlayStation Home.